All right, welcome to the KCP community call on this way towards July Thursday. Um, yeah, as, as usual, just for, for, uh, for completeness' sake, this meeting is governed by the CNCF Code of Conduct, which boils down to let's be excellent to each other. And I'm also not going to ask if there's someone who wants to introduce themselves, because we're only three people. Um, all right, jumping right in. Uh, so just, I wanted to give a quick update on the Kubernetes rebase. I think we probably all know where it stands. Um, so just, you know, for, for anyone who might see the recording, uh, the rebase is now up in a PR. So, uh, Stefan already gave me a review. I am addressing these things. I have most of them addressed already, but there's still a couple of things left to do. Um, so what I'm planning to do is I'm going to work on that in the next days. So I think early next week I can, uh, update the PR and then hopefully that is done. Um, and then we will have Kubernetes 130 just in time for 131 coming out soonish. <laughs> um, and, and maybe we want to do um that rebase per kubernetes version if we can do it because i feel like um, the changes accumulates a bit so i think skipping a version at least if we have the capacity to do the rebase uh is not the best idea because there's just enough like small changes in the kubernetes code base going on that just sum up at least that was my impression from from having to do basically rebase over two versions Right. Um, Makes sense. Right. Um, any any further comments made from you, Stefan? Like the the big picture looked okay. I'm um, apart from the. Yeah, I haven't checked the uh, cube uh, PR. I might do another pass at the same time. But the other one, yeah. I mean, it makes sense to do it every time. You don't save work otherwise, right? That's what you're saying. Yeah. I would be curious. Well, let's say we, we have moved a couple of things or quite a lot to Cube. Is there anything else which we should tackle? So if you have anything in mind, which looked like it could be upstreamed, then yeah, start a conversation. Uh, I can, let me, let me quickly think about the commits that I, I can, I can briefly bring up the branch on screen. Um, there were some, yeah, I, I know that there are like very small things that I was thinking about upstreaming, like this pointer exception check, <laughs> uh, because this is a pointer, so this, this yeah. Time. Error, but this is like I mean, not a... go, go ahead and just open them and i mean those, those are no brainers i guess yeah everything yeah, we I... can get rid of is good yeah i think a lot of the stuff is uh is like cr clusterizing things i'm not sure if we can upstream like generic hooks to do this kind of stuff uh so mm. I'm, I'm not super confident about it. But yeah, hmm. yeah. I would need to think more about that. Uh, I can take another pass at what we now have in the fork and see if there's anything more that we can upstream. Uh, okay, do the basis. Check if we more. Just... Okay. Right. That's it for the for the rebase. Um, I learned a lot about Kubernetes internals in the process. Um, and with some of the commits, I was I was surprised that they worked after I changed them. But whatever. Um, 
let's talk about maybe now that we have 130 pretty soonish done uh, when we want to cut the next kcp release um we have some other changes for example the leader election fixes which are pending um so i would love to get these out as well then the question is and maybe this also goes out to people maybe watching this recording um what kind of changes we want to wait for or do we just release um like i want to do some like more e2e tests um for new kubernetes features and um, the validating admission policy thing is the big one that is missing uh an e2e test and our conformance testing um um but anything else that someone maybe has on their minds that we wanted to get in what is the leader election fix uh there were two prs that fixed some oversights in the initial leader election implementation okay and they are not merged yet so that's they are merged yet cool. they they are merged yeah. now they're just not released so that's why i was okay. thinking about okay. yeah, yeah. Release. i mean i don't like to see features enable like the, um, the policy thing which is not tested because risk is higher that they are just not cluster aware yeah, so, so this would, would be a blocker yeah yeah exactly that's also what i what i considered and this i mean it's probably enough to have a smoke test like uh, create two policies and two workspaces and see that they are independent and maybe i i think i commented um the admission webhook they run from the export workspace as well and for that we have to replicate them so we have those replication controllers and maybe it's easy to add another kind i don't remember but in the in the caching layer like the caching server has to get those objects and then you have to look them up so there might be some work yeah yeah that makes sense um yeah, I would I would definitely consider this uh, this a blocker. Um, and I mean the like V one alpha one types were already there. I'm actually not sure. I haven't checked if there was an E two E test for them back in the days. That's where it's um, able to right? Oh, uh, that's probably. Yeah, maybe maybe I I haven't checked. I will check one. You know, looking into all of this. Um, I know that there were some, let me quickly check, there were some PRs that we added to a 130 rebase milestone. Um, so I'm talking about this milestone here, and we had these two PRs coming in. Um, and I guess once the 130 rebase is merged, we should follow up and see if we can get them into the release as well, right? Yeah, I think the first one about performance, this was actually not meant to be merged. This was more like a proof of concept, if I remember right. Might be wrong, but I think it's... I think number one said something that uh, they disabled stuff just to see whether CPU consumption goes down. And so. Yeah, I think it was somewhat related to this, right? We said that we might yeah. rip out like open API v2 support completely. I think this is touching that. Okay. Yeah, see, so it's removing open API v2. Yeah, so I think like the combination of both PRs basically what we wanted to get in, sort of. Okay. Um yeah. Okay, that, that makes sense. So maybe also think about this and remember to follow up on its Okay, cool. And then I think we're probably ready for release just to get this out uh, to to basically get some some view, uh, some eyes on it. Yeah, I mean those are not blockers, right? We can we can do another release when those things are finished. So I wouldn't block on them. No. Yeah. And just just once we have this merged, uh, the 130 thing, I'll like need some time to work on this. So in the, at the same time, we can follow up and see if it would work time-wise. 
Okay. Do we have any other topic? I saw some discussions about generic control plane. Is there something that we want to talk about there? Because I don't have much insight into that project yet. Or is that just for Slack? Yeah, just a quick summary. So I resumed work a bit on step 11 of the general control plane in upstream. So uh, Appton is a PR, it's not ready yet. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's not green, there's stuff missing, but we're getting near to have a sample API server, a sample generic API server, at least in some package, not as a command officially, but at least in there. And um, this will make sure that the, the stuff will keep working upstream so nobody can easily break it. And what MJ has done in the generic control plane um, repo, there's basically the same thing, but this is meant as an example uh, implementation that people can take and maybe we, we make it easier to consume. And MJ can talk about the, the discussion in the last days. I don't know. Yeah, not much. The, the one change which you fixing upstream where I did a rookie mistake, I don't know how, but basically testing on the four code without building, rebuilding the binary. So that's one. And yeah, the current example doesn't have the CRD, so we need to add that. And I was thinking too, like how to make it modular, but. I would like to see some interface, which is super simple, where you can enable this as usual stuff, right? So yeah. uh, start super minimal, but if you want CRDs and say, with CIDs and you get some, something like that. But that, I'm thinking that should be like in our side on a KCP dev, not in upstream, or do you right. want? Yes, yeah. no, I don't want to go into upstream then. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, we need to build this helper because let's, the one, uh, the one which is the PR you mentioned, step 11 is open, it's still very crude. Like you need to know which flag to enable when you need some of the APIs like uh, that disable enable. Yeah. Same for the service account secret. So there needs this helper machinery around the place, like a batteries type of thingy in KCP. So yeah, but I suspect once your stuff goes in, we need to work on the upstream end-to-end -end test too for that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this. It always makes sense to have more. Uh, I'm not sure end-to-end -end tests, integration tests. You mean probably? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. so we we have the test server, so we can easily run some tests against it, like different configurations. Yeah. So. But the plumbing might be actually in upstream. This is fine. All right. Then I just have one minor update um, regarding the um, <clears throat> the OCI stuff. Uh, uh, MJ and I a while ago were like have automated deploying a cluster, but then I saw that OCI is strongly urging us to, to move to a different networking model for the cluster. Uh, so I'm now reworking uh, that to make sure that it uses the native OCI networking. Um, so far, nodes fail to join, so I need to take another look at that. But that is still in progress, um, and I'll, I'm going to figure it out. And then we can resume moving Prowl or creating a Prowl worker cluster there. You basically reached the same point where I stopped trying to do that. Like you add to the new networking, nodes just nodes just never join in a 20 minutes reconcile loop. I assume there's some routing table or NSG magic may be missing. And I'm going to take a look at that. Okay. But yeah, that's it for my side. Do we have any other business or should we conclude the meeting? Do we know when the KubeCon submissions should be coming out like uh, in a few weeks, I think? When is the date? Good question. Let's take a look. CFP 
A uh, schedule announcement is in a month, Wednesday, August 14th. So it's still a while. Okay, yeah. It will take a minute. All right. I assume that is it. So thank you very much, Todd and Sweet, and enjoy your Thursday afternoon and evening. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Cheers. Cheers.